Make sure you show all the sides of it. And make sure you focus in on the ingredients. But take but really slowly pan on the ingredients and the nutritional facts. So that way they can see it and pause on any parts of, of it that they want to read. Okay, so here we are with with the Mega Bowls uh, Nashville Hot Chicken Recipe, as was requested by, if I'm not mistaken, I think what was it was Princess Dual Shock. Mm -hmm. Okay, Princess, I, I guess you're getting your way. I guess you call yourself Princess Dual Shock because you like them print, you like them princessy pink and maybe little stars Dual Shock controllers. I was trying to be funny here. Am I being? I'm not being funny here. Yeah. Okay. Well. One thing of note here is whenever you buy one of these, you want to pay close attention to the nutritional facts and the ingredients to price ratio, okay? Because it's very important. And when you're doing it, read the directions carefully because some people don't catch this. Right here is when you do you do four, four minutes on high and then you gently stir it. And then you microwave an additional two to three minutes, which our microwave works good, so I didn't have to do the additional two to three minutes completely. So I only did one minute, so that's good and hot. Uh, check that foods is cooked thoroughly to 165 Fahrenheit. Carefully, it's hot. Enjoy. And then here's your directions for conventional. Oven. Some of these are directions for conventional oven because some of them you really should do in conventional oven because they're, they're actually better, as you know, Wolf Pit. Some people out. don't have microwaves. And some people don't microwaves. And then food safety and quality information. And then, of course, when you're purchasing it, uh, look for the uh, best uh, if best if used by date. So that way you're aware of that. Okay. So that's enough with the packaging. <laughs> now, now I'm going to get my critique hat on. Let's just now take a looky loo at the foodie food here. It does smell relatively spicy. Do you think this smells spicy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I've got here, I've got here Doris's fork of soup. I've got a knife of soup, a fork of soup, fork of soup for me, and a spoon of soup. The forks ran away with the spoons and then became sporks. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, I'm going to try here. A little taste of the mashed potatoes and a little bit of the corn. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it does have a bit, bit there, that there bite. Here's a little, now my door's going to have a little dab of the potatoes and the You can vegetables. smell it. Yeah, you can smell that Luigi in an air sauce. Tell the truth. It is spicy. It's got quite some bite to it. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna get my surgeon on. I want to hear. Take a look at the. Take a look at the meat here. So there's that side of the meat. There's that side of the meat. Now, uh, I'm going to diagnose what killed this meat. It was cooked to death. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to try this piece. I'm surprised you could take such a big you bite of that. You still get that burn in your mouth even after. The meat's a little, I don't know, I think it's a little chewy. I guess it's probably the preservatives, I don't know. Here, I want a smaller piece of meat. Yeah. I don't think it's, I think it's like a chicken patty. It, it's really chewy. It definitely tastes yeah, it like. It looks like a chicken nugget. It, it, it tastes like that, it tastes like that synthetic meat. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. As usual, the sauce is completely drowning out the chicken flavor. Yeah, it is chewy and it is spicy. I'm going to hate to say this. This here, in my honest opinion, as critiquing this here dish. Princess Dualshock liked it. But we I have a say, different opinion. Throw the meat away, cook your own piece of meat, but the, definitely the mashed potatoes and the vegetables is where it shines. Definitely in my opinion. What do you think? Too much spices. It is too spicy. <clears throat> I you do. can't taste the flavor of anything else. All mm. you can taste is the, is the Louisiana hot sauce. Spices. I mean, it's it's this stuff right here. It's Louisiana hot sauce. I mean, you can see it. I mean, perfect mm. example is, okay, I want to take my fork over here. <clears throat> I want to get 
a piece over here, because I intentionally did this to try to, and all our patties under that. See, see here. See there? Now that's got less of the sauce on it. You should try that bit there, and then you'll see what I mean. See, the mashed potatoes and the vegetables, if it wasn't so much sauce in it, it definitely still has the flavor. But the problem is that the sauce just, it pretty much just... The hot sauce just pretty much takes away the in, flavor. In my opinion, the patties, the patties ain't, the patties, it's too, it's too tough, and, you know, it's not like a real piece of meat patty. But then you get them out of the way, and then you get the nice mashed potatoes and corn. Which, you actually do have some flavor of them. The problem is, again, Louisiana sauce, it's just... In my opinion, nah. Well, some people like really, really spicy things. I know things. some people really like spicy, spicy things, but in my opinion... Well, I like spicy things, but that's just overdoing it. Yeah. I mean, I've got, I've got aged... Uh, Sriracha. Sriracha in the kitchen is proof that I do like spicy things sometimes. But the thing is that there's such a thing as keeping the flavor there. You want the flavor of the food. Yeah, you don't want to completely And you, the spices out. is supposed to enhance the food, not overthrow the food. Yeah. I mean, when David pulled the meat back and gave me that little bit of potatoes, yeah, you could taste a little bit. But, I mean, you look at it, it's just hot sauce. They just drowned in and out. I mean... In large part, the problem here is that the meat has got too much of the preservatives in it. I mean... Too much hot sauce. I mean, I mean, just watch this, okay? I want to pull this piece of meat out, okay? And then I want to angle it, and I'm going to take my spoon here. I want to knock some of the sauces off, okay? There's the chicken underneath. Yeah, that's breaded chicken. So that we, can get to the, that we can get to the chicken, the breaded chicken underneath, okay? Probably good without all that extra stuff. And then I want to here take take this piece. I want to eat this piece here. And then my daughter's going to try a piece, and then we're going to explain to you why you want to have the right amount, and why basically most TV dinners is going to fall short in this regard because it's the preservatives because they basically process the meat, then they glue it back together, adding preservatives so, so that way it lasts longer. Thus, unfortunately. I'm pretty much uh, neutering a stray dog. You see again, it when when you try this, you want to see my point here. I scraped it off. You can actually taste it better. But the problem is, it's still the too preserve. too many yeah. of that hot, too much of that the hot sauce. The problem is, pretty much all you're tasting. It's hot sauce. You, you, you yes, you do have some of that in there. But the problem is, you're pretty much tasting. A bit of the hot sauce and the seasoning on the, in the breadcrumbs. You do not taste any chicken. There is no flavor to the chicken. Nope. And it is loaded with sodium. Yeah, so I'm sorry. It's just no. Six, six, six bucks? Dollars, no. You're better off buying mashed potatoes, corn, and some chicken and just, you do know. Do it yourself, but leave out the hot sauce. Do it yourself, and that way you can even use, use, bet, use, because let's face facts here, okay? Let's punch some numbers here. Instant mashed potatoes is what? A dollar. A dollar. Maybe. Here's a dollar. Uh, the bag of frozen corn is 99 cents. It's basically a dollar. There's two dollars. You can buy better breaded uh, chicken nuggets or chicken breast. About two dollars thirty For cents about $2 at Walmart. Thirty cents. You're about up to about four bucks. Four bucks. Louisiana hot sauce. You can buy that from some dollar stores for a dollar. You might have that at home. Or you might have that at home if you like stuffing up. There's four dollars and almost everybody has a Lazy Susan with some stuff in it. You you would make a far better pro quality product for less. This actually would be good if you just made it yourself and you were able to control your own amount of hot sauce. I'm sorry, but now. I'm sorry, but six... Yeah, but this is for... Uh, Princess Dulshock said she enjoyed it, and, yes. and that's good. In a, in a pinch, yes. And if it's, you do like it really spicy, but in the end, I'm sorry. I have to compare, because in the end, you're still looking at around here, this costed us six dollars. Yeah, and we could feed a family of but six for six bucks. Are but everybody's different. Yeah. But, hold on a second, but because this costs six dollars, you have to weigh this. Against the individual ingredients you can purchase in the store market price. 